Hi everyone, it's Gordon. Today I want to talk about the difference between 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz. These are very important concepts to understand within Wi-Fi because these are the two main frequencies that Wi-Fi as we know it operates on. So let's get into it. So the first thing we really need to understand is exactly what frequency is. Frequency is nothing more than how often something happens, okay? One hertz equals one cycle, okay? Up here, you'll see this cycle in the form of a radio wave with a dotted line across it. The top half of that is your first 180 degrees. The bottom half going across that dotted line is the second half of your 180 degrees of that cycle completing one cycle. So, and as I said, Frequency is nothing more than how often something happens within a period of time. In this case, we look at one megahertz, which is equal to 1,000 cycles per second. Okay? In this case of 2.4 gigahertz, that'd be 2.4 billion cycles per second. And respectively, 5 gigahertz would be 5 billion cycles per second. Just amazing. So why are we moving to 5 gigahertz? Well, the first thing is bandwidth. Everything is requiring more bandwidth and going to 5 gigahertz is going to give us that. And I'll get into exactly how that is related to frequency, which we, which we just talked about. The second part of that, it's a virgin or unused frequency. Okay, There just isn't any traffic on it um, until recently. We're starting to add more devices onto the 5 gigahertz frequency, but for the most part it's it's an unused frequency. And that's why it was introduced is because 2.4 gigahertz has too much congestion on it. There's so many devices today that operate on 2.4 gigahertz. You have microwave ovens, your cell phones, your TV on your Wi-Fi, um, you've got uh, your computers and laptops and iPads, and I could go on and on and on including uh, cordless phones. So there are all these different devices that are all connecting onto this frequency when, within the same Wi-Fi network and it's creating a lot of congestion. And it, it's to the point where a lot of these devices are having trouble working, you know, as far as a, a wireless data, data communication standpoint. Now, let's get into 2.4 gigahertz. 2.4 gigahertz has three non-overlapping channels within that frequency. Okay? And if anyone can tell me exactly what the non-overlapping channels are, that'd be great. I'd love to hear that. Just uh, send it to my LinkedIn. So the other thing I want to talk to you about on frequency that's important to understand is the lower it has, it is going to have lower bandwidth but longer range compared to 5 gigahertz. So the less frequency or the fewer cycles you have per second, the less bandwidth you're able to push through and have that throughput. But because your wavelength of your, of your wave is longer, your range, the distance it's able to travel is going to be much longer than 5 gigahertz. So you're able to, you're able to go through uh, walls a lot easier. It's able to to go a much further distance uh, before attenuation occurs, things like that. But the trade-off is it'll be less bandwidth, so it's not able to um, give you as much bandwidth as 5 gigahertz. Not only that, like I said, it's a much more congested frequency, so you may have problems communicating just for the fact there's so many devices on it. Now, 5 gigahertz has 23 non-overlapping channels. These are important because you can put a uh, certain set your access point for a certain channel where there's going to be less interference. There's less traffic on that particular channel of that frequency. And you're going to be able to have a much cleaner communication between the access point points and the clients that are connecting to it. So in this case, the relationship, higher frequency, the shorter the range, okay? So I look at this uh, this little drawing here where I'm have a much shorter wavelength but I'm having more cycles per second. So you're able to push more data through but your um, distance that it's going to travel is much shorter. 
So we have to keep that in mind when we're designing uh, Wi-Fi networks and managed Wi-Fi where we have a lot of access points in play that we have to understand these general concepts and if we're using a certain AP like if we're using uh, one that's uh, on based on 802.11 AC that operates on 5 gigahertz so we have to understand exactly what the limitations and advantages of those are when we design a particular wireless network for a client. When I mean by client, I mean a business or something like that, not a station. Um, at any rate, I hope this all makes sense to everybody and um, you're able to understand really the difference between 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz. You're able to understand exactly what frequency is and you understand the relationship between these two and why everything is moving to 5 gigahertz. Hope this helps and let me know if you have any questions. Just hit me up on my LinkedIn. I'll talk to you later. Bye.